in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching in exodus chapter 31 1 to 6 exodus 31 1 to 6 having given moses watch this it was through these supernatural encounters moses received the blueprint of the tabernacle in the wilderness but how was it going to come to pass the lord spake unto moses saying verse 2 see i have called by name bezalel the son of ure the son of hor of the tribe of judah uh-huh I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. What for? To devise cunning works. To walk in gold, in silver, in brass, verse 5, and in cutting of stones, to set them and in carvings of timber and to walk all manner of workmanship. Final verse. And I behold, I have given with him Ahiolab, the son of all that name, of the tribe of Dan. And in the hands of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee. It's one thing to receive the commandment, but you need your imagination, ladies and gentlemen, and your creativity activated. And this is a function of the miracle of sight. There are companies today who have partnered with demon spirits and continue to come up with witty inventions, ideas that redefine civilization. And believers do not know that the miracle of sight can translate to a creative mind. When you know this, it will tell on the kinds of songs that you bring from the spirit. Yes, sir. Some of these songs that you hear and you wonder how did this person write this song? I can tell you it's not just visions and dreams. Not all of them were just received verbatim. They sat down and the breath of the spirit came upon their creativity and they conjured words and melodies together that your heart cannot stop singing. Creativity. Creativity. There are people today who have been rewarded by nations because they sustain the intelligence to download superior technological ideas, superior solutions via the medium of creativity and imagination. Hmm. You want to prosper? Here is where that possibility comes upon you. The breath of the Almighty. You will think out creative ideas. God will show you things that others are not seeing. And with it, God will begin to rewrite your life. And believe me, this works. Is someone learning? There are people today who design clothes. And there is no end to their creativity. There are architects today who have designed whole cities and nations. How do you think those things came? I hope you know anything you imagine, you only imagine it because it already exists. If it does not exist, it cannot be captured in your imagination. Anything that finds itself in your imagination, it is because it has a frame in the realm of the spirit already. Your assignment is to culture your creativity such that you see and edit the thoughts and the pictures that are inconsistent with your destiny and select the ones that will give material frame to God's speakings in your life. The fact that you can imagine a thing means it already exists. You think I'm joking? Ask people in the movie industry. You think I'm joking? Ask architects. You think I'm joking? Ask professionals. Ask artists. 
there are artworks today that are worth tens and hundreds of millions of dollars out of nowhere you say someone just began to paint no you lied it was always there it was simply transported and it followed the gate of imagination so your bible says ephesians 3 20 now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask some versions will say imagine 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 can i tell you the truth if you lack this faculty of creativity and imagination after one week of preaching you will not have sermons again did you hear what i said it is beyond seeing visions the realm of imagination and creativity is also the realm where productivity lies there is no end to the vast resources of intelligence that comes out from within your mind I preach an average of two or three messages every week with all humility and by the grace of God. I've been doing this for many years. You imagine once upon a time, I think one of my phones crashed and that was when I realized that I lost over 800 sermons that I had prepared. 800 sermons and everything just went and I had to start again. I wept like Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus. But after that, where it came from the first place is still there mm, still there listen those who understand this have manifested superhuman attributes and we have found names for them genesis we call some they have only tapped into that possibility truly there is the miracle of the seen eye that tells on your creativity the songs that come from you these guys watch this this, my dear people, are here playing these instruments. I hope you know that when you play any of these instruments, you are not really told what to play. It is that faculty that is responsible for this. That is what is needed to drive. There are people who always have accidents as far as they go out. The moment they go out, they will hit another car. I can tell you something is wrong with this realm of creativity. You are a businessman. I show you a formula you can lock yourself I'm going to be showing you how to prime this my goodness ah. mm. yes sir yes sir when you understand this as a designer you will start dressing kings they will say where did this thing come from you will say your mind but the truth is it came from the realm of the spirit only waiting for the gate of your imagination would it allow it to pass all the businesses that thrive today from Facebook to Twitter to those who design to those who have made all kinds of things it came from there there are companies today that try to simulate divine creativity by building departments called research and development what is the assignment of a research and development arm of a, to sit down and walk upon their mind there is a better way typewriter cannot be the only thing there is a way of taking away keypads now there is a way of even taking away the phone and yet it is there creativity is someone hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Once upon a time, if you wanted to hunt or you wanted to be wealthy, you would go to the bush and risk your life to hunt animals. And then tapping into this creativity, someone came up and said, no, what you call civilization is simply what happens when men honor this realm in the spirit of creativity and imagination civilization is so constructed as an honor to creativity and imagination if you resurrect someone now who was alive 400 years when he comes upon the earth he will be shocked what is this thing i'm holding they say a phone a phone what is this thing you are wearing and you give it all kinds of descriptions there are literally people who are hired because either by divination or by instincts they have trained their creativity and imagination they can sit down and look at things and say no there is a better way do you know for instance 
that the glorious future building of koinonia is already in the spirit is there is not in the mind of an architect is there predetermined by the counsel of god but it takes someone agreeing with god and then you receive through creativity my life has changed because of this sermons have come from this realm your do you know your approach to the study of scripture will change when you have creativity there are things you will see that a person whose creativity has not been empowered will not see creativity i think i was told as, as a story that i understand that god's servant has shared himself that while they were building you know the faith tabernacle now um there was a time that there was they needed to push some gadget inside and then it was just maybe a fractions of inches higher than the door and it would not go in and the people wanted to break the door and then push it in and he said no stop he said there's a way out and they said there's no way out sir how do we push he said there is a way out and he went and stood and prayed and he came out he said deflate the tire a little push it in and pump it back there will always be a way i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up exalted i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorified one song that can come from that realm can sort you and your generation and your children's children there are people today who are not musicians but they partnered with spirits and came up with ideas ladies and gentlemen the cure for poverty is found in this realm not just visions when the spirit moves upon you as a creative spirit you will come up with products listen People give me all kinds of gifts and I'm really honored to have them and sometimes I look at the things people give me and I wonder what kind of mind they had to have created some of the gifts that they have hallelujah I remember one time someone gave me something you just hook the tip of it just in something that looks like a rod no matter how you shake that thing it will never fall just a tip of it I don't know how what kind of thinking you play with it like a child playing it never falls the one time president of the United States was asked what does it take to fly a rocket to the moon and he said the will to do it the will to do it that's all that is required what does it take to move your store who would have believed that from one room someone can have a global business that with a capital of one million you can set up a room literally and not even have any products there and become a millionaire in six months someone came up with something called e-commerce and it has changed the lives of people today who would have believed that Joshua Selman is standing here in Abuja Nigeria and speaking to nations you can't hold it yet you are seeing me they simulated immortality and omnipresence you never would have believed that i can be everywhere now that can be simulated through the power of the internet only god knows what is left in the spirit waiting for men and women who have the seeing eye only god knows what is left ladies and gentlemen hallelujah I traveled to a particular nation some time back and visiting a few of their top entrepreneurs I had the opportunity to visit one of the offices they facilitate transactions and I was told that about 95 percent of the transaction in that nation passes through that platform so I had the opportunity to sit and have a discussion with them headed by a woman 
very unassuming but powerful woman, I had to ask her a question. How do you do this? That 95% of the transaction of a whole nation of over 50 million, 50, yeah, million people, one man's creativity, and while they are seated there, Another person is saying, God, you are not fair to me. You would have given me the grace to have a rich father. And God is saying, I gave you more than what is a rich father. You just have been blinded until you are 40 years now. I'm praying for someone who, in the name of my God and your God, you will receive the miracle of sight tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Someone looks at a goat and a ram and a sheep and all they are seeing is the reward for hunting and yet another person was looking and by creativity the focus was not on the animal but on the four and he said this i'm seeing a jacket not just an animal moving full of hair Another person looks at a tree and is thinking firewood. Another person is thinking and saying, no, this is a table that kings will sit on. I met a young man not too long ago and this gentleman now works with the Dubai government and they released some very serious money and when he was sharing with me the idea he came up with, I was tempted to ask him, how old are you? But you see, that doesn't matter creativity make sure when I ask you to lay your hands on your head even if it's two of your hands you will lay there you must cry in the spirit Lord this faculty of imagination something must come out of it that will feed my children something must come out of it that will serve your purposes hallelujah someone came up with an idea called smart homes by the spirit it has redefined architecture and building today. You find young people in their early and mid-twenties marvelously blessed, sitting down with the kings of nations and signing contracts because of their mind, not their size, not their age. That I may receive my sight. That I may receive my sight. Everything you go to a restaurant and pay 100,000 for is available in the farm. Someone saw how to combine it in a way you do not know and you have to pay for your ignorance sometimes almost forever. Are we together? One time someone gave me, I have a lot of those gifts, someone gave me a cup and that cup when you pour hot water, it changes, it brings out something, whether your picture or whatever they put there. And I'm saying, my goodness, this is someone thinking, oh. This is someone thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, once upon a time, they sell ice water. You put it in an ice, a, 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 a leather, and then you keep it. And then when you buy it, you can't take it because it's iced. You have to impatiently endure until it defrosts. Then you now take it. And someone looked at it and said, no, kings will not take this. Creativity. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but it may not be demons that are keeping your business where it is. Or maybe your law firm, or maybe whatever it is. The world has a messless honor and recognition for creative people. When you are creative and that by the spirit, nobody will ask you where you are coming from again creativity 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit are you ready to lay your hands on your head in one minute please lay your hands and cry a cry in one minute father breathe upon my mind let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive. Someone is praying. Let my imagination come alive. Let my creativity come alive.
pray spirit of the living God I receive the gift of the seeing eye let my creativity come alive in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as you travel around the world sometimes you are almost tempted to say Africa did they cause us Nigeria was it a cause that came on us and even if it's a cause we rebuke it in Jesus name but you find out people with the same mind you go around the world and see what teenagers are doing redefining the civilization across many many places literally they sit down and come up with witty inventions did you know that in the 50s and 60s you would not hold a mic like this if you gave someone a mic like this he probably may run away but now someone has done and this is even a lot of old school I still like it but it's old school there are people who they don't even I mean they just just say something that looks like my button and that's it creativity many Christians remain poor remain mediocre and they are crying oh God who will arise to bless me the question is what needs to arise from within your spirit creativity there are many people today saying I'm a graduate I read this I read that they have degrees but they are not creative they are not innovative and there are many opportunities that will pass them by I'm praying for someone something must come out of your spirit before the end of this year I say it again something must come out of your spirit before the end of this year hallelujah praise the name of the Lord when you go to the United States there's a university called Liberty University and the story behind that university is that um, the founder wanted to build please sit down please sit down that the founder wanted to build an institution we are told where average people who did not have the ability to pay a very large amount as school fees would at least be able to go to school but how would he raise that money and then history tells us that he sat down and taught and taught and taught and taught and said there has to be a way he needed millions of dollars as a then to be able to establish the university but from you know from his his, the, his that current condition nobody was willing to give him that kind of money and history tells us that he sat down and found an idea and he started traveling all across the united states holding seminars as large as this kind of meetings and he began to teach people what some of you may call or know as the acres of diamond it was a story I don't want to go into it since I'm preaching but that story the morale was to help people appreciate what they had within them that before you go out searching for things elsewhere search within and you'll find out that what you are looking around for is in your house and he went around the United States and people were so inspired by his talk and his lectures he earned millions of dollars and there were support systems that rose up for him people were so inspired and decided to partner with his vision until that university was founded someone said there is a way out let the devil hear you let your destiny hear you don't use that word impossible again settle down and say there is a way out lord there is a way out this issue of living from hand to mouth i don't have to be an arm robber to survive there is a way out spirit of the living god breathe upon my mind there is a creative way and then while you are doing that hear me an idea that may not make sense can I tell you, I wish I had time to teach you on priming creativity. Many of the ideas you will receive will be worthless. Respect them by writing them, even if you don't execute them. Among the many supposedly useless ideas, you are priming your creativity. Like you are mining gold or like you are mining oil. A lot of rubbish will come out first, but you just respect it and something will come out very precious. 
that one thing that comes out is what can change your life are we together yeah there are people who write songs they can write 100 songs they'll be ashamed of singing 60 because it does not even make any sense but they still continue and then by the law of time and chance they will write out something just one song and it sends them to the nations hallelujah creativity let me tell you honestly sometimes when i wake up in the night i can just play worship like this and sit down and i pray in the spirit for a while and then i just sit quietly you'll be learning when i show you the keys that meditation is one of the ways to be creative the power of meditation in your silence spirit of the living god i'm here the ministry that you have given me there has to be a way out what is the next five years to be like what is the next 10 years to be like you may not see a vision you may not have a dream but an inspiration will come from heaven through the door of your creativity are we together now oh start organizing this start doing this now start empowering this now this one will come up and that's the end of it number three let's hurry up hmm. is someone ready when you receive the gift of sight the seen eye the third area that is activated in your life is the capacity to have insight from scripture the capacity to have insight from scripture is proof that your eyes have been opened the capacity to have insight from scripture Ephesians 1 17 and 18 the capacity to have insight that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom watch this in the revelation of him let's read 18 together one to read the eyes of your understanding hold on that's it there insight the eyes your understanding has an eye and the bible says it can be enlightened amplified says flooded with light that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints is someone learning isaiah 29 verse 11 i have taught you here but i found a very interesting version i think it's called new century version or so ncv if you can't find it let's just work with what we have but i as i was going through several versions because i wanted to see what they said about this scripture i found a version called ncv i think that should be new century version or so i think it's one of the modern versions and it puts it in a very profound way but here it says and the vision of all is become unto you watch this like the words of a book that is sealed the new century version says that is closed and sealed which men deliver to one who is learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i cannot read it why because it is sealed 12 and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i'm not even learned in the first place ladies and gentlemen hear me this bible you see is both closed and sealed i have taught you the closing of it is physical but the sealing of it is spiritual so just because you open this like this does not mean it is opened your hand has opened it but the seal has not been unlocked so you will read it and at best just read history and read archaeology and read literature but when the seal is broken you will now begin to see things that you never knew were there and those who have this seeing eye can carry a scripture you have been reading every day by the time they open it unto you sometimes you feel annoyed and say god this is not fair i've read this all my life i even have it as an inscription in my house as a wallpaper 
and yet my eyes did not see it when your eyes are opened and when you receive the gift of the seeing eye the gift of sight you must have insight unusual insight into the mysteries of scripture is someone learning you will open your Bible and you can stay on one verse for one week because of the depth of what you have found there. It does not make sense. When you have the gift of sight, you can literally open Genesis 1 verse 1 and bring out 20 sermons from verse 1. And I say that without exaggeration. In the beginning, God, you can stop there. That already is a sermon that can be a series. In the beginning, God. Leave the other things. In the beginning, God. And you stop there. Created the heavens and the earth. Meaning he was not in any of them. You can start there. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. By, by the inspiration that comes from scripture. You can look at this scripture and draw forth many sermons. Draw forth insights that can build your life, build your business, build your family. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world. So your extent of giving is a measure of the depth of your love. He so loved, he gave his only. He so loved. He gave his only. That's the only thing your eyes will see. So if I so love, I can give even my only. If I cannot give my only, the problem is not my hand. The problem is the extent of my love. If I cannot give my all to my vision, it's because I do not so love it. If I cannot give my all to my family, it's because I cannot so love them. That in itself, a family series can come out of this because of insight into scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave. Another person will recite this as a memory verse. Recite your solution and still die because you do not have insight. Elihu said there is a spirit in man. Job 32 and verse 8. And the breath, the inspiration of the Almighty, he says, give them understanding. Hallelujah. Every time I pray, I ask the Lord to quicken my understanding. And to grant me truly the gift of sight. When you receive this every part. I believe that in, in my encounters where the light of Jesus came to me. This was one of the things that he was doing. Light entered me. And it was like a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. You literally open any part of the Bible. And you can see something. What is this now? insight into scripture there are good sincere men of God who are already weary once it is Saturday they are crying because they don't know what to preach again they've preached on kindness the gift of the spirit rapture angels salvation purpose the sermons are over they've consulted all kinds of materials and preached it and that's the end of it there are business people who are tired because they are tired of the routine that the bankruptcy of creativity and lack of insight brings. Ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you this? Especially if you are a minister of the gospel, you must obtain grace from the Spirit to have insight into Scripture so that you can draw forth mysteries how do you know that you have had insight into scripture because you will be able to draw forth solutions from stories solutions from scripture reciting it is not where the mystery is there is something hidden within the story hidden within the parable you can draw half of a scripture in genesis combine it with half of a scripture in judges Combine it with another half scripture in Nahum and it creates a whole picture that only you can sell to the body of Christ that becomes a new word compliant insight that brings the saints to certain levels of power. Say insight. One more time, say insight. I'm praying in the name of Jesus that the book will be open and that the seals will be broken. The seals will be broken. May your eyes see it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
Praise the name of the Lord. I attend meetings with all humility almost every week. And all of these meetings have their topics that you are given. They have their topics. And some of those topics may be spiritual in nature. Others would demand that you outsource intelligence from other fields to add to your knowledge of the word. If you do not have insight into scripture and generally insight into things, you should be able to look at an orange and see beyond an orange. Have insight. Is someone learning? Number four. When you receive the miracle of a seen eye, the gift of sight, what is the fourth area that will be activated in your life? Are you ready? Prophetic revelations. Prophetic revelations. I want you to listen now. Number one, visions and dreams. Number two, your creativity and imagination. Number three, insight from scripture number four prophetic revelations john 16 13. prophetic revelations you do not have to be a prophet to be prophetic i said it while i was teaching this morning in lagos that there is the office of a prophet but there is the operation of the prophetic and you do not have to be a prophet to have that privilege. Every believer has the liberty of operating prophetically. Jesus said, when he, the spirit of truth is come, please look up. He will guide you into all truth, it says, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, he shall speak. Help me read the last sentence. And he will show you things to come. 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 The word of knowledge comes under this category also. The ability to have insight into events past and events present. The moment it becomes futuristic is no longer the word of knowledge. The jurisdiction of the word of knowledge is access to events past and events present the moment you begin to speak about the future that is prophecy not word of knowledge the word of knowledge has a jurisdiction because it deals with events past and events present hallelujah revelations 1 verse 1 and then we do 4 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ which he gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass. To show his servants what? The things which must shortly come to pass. The things which must shortly come to pass. Imagine that by prophetic insight, you have access to what will happen tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, concerning your life, concerning your family. Revelations 4 and verse 1. 4 and verse 1. After this I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither and I will show you the things that must be hereafter. When God gives you the miracle of the seen eyes, you will start seeing in the spirit. Seeing in the spirit is different from dreams. In many ways, it's even different from visions. You are literally caught up. Like Ezekiel was caught up and he was brought into certain realms where he saw things. This is very powerful. In 1 Kings chapter 5, the full text is from verse 20 down to 27. The story of Naaman, Gehazi and Elisha. The Bible tells us that when Naaman was healed, he returned back with gifts to say thank you. 2 Kings 5. He came to say thank you. And when he said thank you, 
Elisha told him, don't worry. Carry your gifts and go away with it. And while he was saying that, the Bible says Gehazi. Remember this, uh, Gehazi. The guy was hot and angry and said, how could this man lose such an opportunity like this? And he came out and smuggled his way to follow the chariot. And Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of God said, Behold, my master had spared Naaman, this Syrian, not receiving at his hands that which he brought. But as the Lord liveth, can you imagine? He's even mentioning the Lord there. I will run after him and take somewhat of him. Next verse. So Gehazi followed after Naaman. And when Naaman saw him running after him, he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said, Is all well? Uh huh. And he said, All is well. My master had sent me, saying, This is how many people will be cheated in their organizations because they do not have the seen eye. Someone will go and misrepresent you and say, Well, I was sent by this boss, I was sent by this preacher, and because we do not have the seen eye. You will be misrepresented in the face of people because there are individuals within your organization that may be compromising out of your values but because you do not have the eyes to see. Let's finish up. Behold, even now, there be come unto me from Mount Ephraim two young men. Look at how he cooked up that lie. He wasted his creativity. You see that? That all this story just came out like word of knowledge two young men of the sons of the prophets I hope you know lies taps into creativity because you don't rehearse lies if you rehearse lies the Holy Spirit will most likely convict you while you are rehearsing it and say is this worth it and you now say I repent to God I'm sorry so when you can literally stand before people and lie for hours and as the lie is coming when you realize there's a loophole, another creativity covers the lie. Let's finish this scripture, please. Koinonia, don't do this to me. I pray thee, he said, a talent of silver and two changes of raiment. Let's finish up. And then Naaman said, be content, take two talents. And he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags and two changes of raiment and laid them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him. Uh -huh. We're reading to 27. And when he came to the tower, he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed. 25. But he went in and stood before his master, said the seeing eye. And Elisha said unto him, From where are you coming? Listen. When people who have eyes ask you certain questions, just tell the truth. Because to lie is to complicate the situation again. He would have just said, sir, you have seen. I know you have seen something. I'm sorry. Let's finish that scripture. From whence cometh thou Gehazi? And he said, thy servant went not whither. I didn't go anywhere. And he said unto him, when not my heart or some versions who say my spirit was my spirit not with you when the man turned again from his chariot look at him describing this he was not in a crusade ground he was in his house when he turned from his chariot my God only God knows how many people are seeing what you are doing you are not alone no who else saw it From his chariot while you were collecting the bribe you were alone in the room as you hid it is it true that you were alone oh his angels they're in the realm of the spirit no there are men who have the seen eye hallelujah is it a time to receive money and to receive garments look at how he described how do you lie he has already told you what you received money and garment and olive yards, vineyards, sheep, oxen, man servant, main servant. 27. And in anger he's costing. The leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave to thee and unto thy seed forever. There is no mention of the man saying have mercy. And he went out from his presence immediately a leper 
as white as snow. What a fearful prophet. He didn't take three days old. As he was speaking, a man just became leprous immediately. The power of the seeing eye. Every time you have insight into things in the realm of the spirit, you can create possibilities sometimes in a moment. This is the reason why when people prophesy, they speak from that altitude in the spirit. God has granted them access to sight and they can say be blessed and immediately realities just materialize and manifest in your life. It is true. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you believe this? Prophetic revelations. The Bible says that men and women can see. It is the privilege of believers to see. To see into the spirit. And you can know. You can walk in the spirit. You can literally be carried in the spirit. And you do not have to be a prophet. It is the strength of your secret place. The health of your spirit man. Hallelujah. I did not even know that there was a prophetic dimension to my life when I started having supernatural experiences. It was just blind hunger, loving Jesus. And unfortunately in my case, it was a mix of all kinds of spirits. Remember I shared with you about this oppression that I would have in my room and then these spirits would just open my door literally. And begin to press you and now you are in the world of the spirit but you are not able to manifest physically you see that now let me tell you something that just to educate our minds watch this if I am here now standing with another individual the moment I am open to the realm of the spirit the person standing close to me will be affected by that reality because I have opened a portal he may not know what has happened to him are we together now it's the reason why people carry their atmospheres oh dear yes it is true people carry their atmospheres when Paul as Saul encountered Jesus the other people in the donkey they did not know what was happening but they fell as a result of it. You get that? Yeah. So if my eyes is open and I'm seeing something now, there will be a reaction within the circumference. It doesn't matter. Anybody within there because a portal has been opened. It's a vista, it's a gateway, it's an access point. It will affect everybody within that circumference. And this is the idea of walking under a, an open heavens. That through consecration, yieldedness and alignment, you literally become a walking portal. You are a conduit point. Are we together now? Yes. When that happens to you as a man of God, you become a mysterious blessing. You will carry the power of God. Your assignment is to take the glory to meetings. And the moment you stand there, that portal is opened. Beyond just your preaching and singing, all kinds of spiritual activities are happening. Angels ascending and descending. Anointings and mantles are pouring upon people whilst you are speaking. Hallelujah. You can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere. You can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere. Spiritual atmospheres are communicable. You can be affected by another man's prayer life. You can be affected by another man's spiritual climate. Men walk with their climates. They carry their climates. Listen, have you ever entered a room and you just sense that they've been gossiping in this room? There's jealousy because these things are an interaction with the realm of the spirit as casual as they sound and the realm of the spirit has presence components that follow it hatred has a presence jealousy has a presence love has a presence power has a presence creativity has a presence it is true hallelujah that is the reason why you can listen to a man 
and by listening to that man and opening your spirit his atmosphere can prime your own atmosphere and you will begin to experience what that person is experiencing it is true it is true blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Hallelujah. You can enter a house where a man through the sacrifice of spiritual exercises has literally opened a portal there and the man may not be around. You can sit alone in the living room and certain interactions in the spirit are happening to you because you came under a portal and opened heavens. This is true. So if a man carries his spiritual climate, it can have an effect on you. It's true. Most high, most high, most high, most high, most high, most high. Most high, most high. Hallelujah. Now hear me ladies and gentlemen. Those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time are those who will be interested in receiving the gift of sight. The gift of the seen eye. Not the open eye. Your eye can be open and yet you are blind. Parakatos kadibalakosia. Your eye can be open, man of God, and yet you are blind. There is the miracle of sight. Blind Bartimeo said that I may receive my sight. He didn't say that my eyes be open, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said, then receive your sight. It is a gift. You can receive it. The ability to see prophetically. The ability to see through the mind of your imagination. The ability to see to draw insight from scripture. The ability to take advantage of dreams and visions and rewrite your destiny. How could you fail with these systems of advantage? No. Most high. Most high. Most high. Most high. Most high. Most high. Something is happening to you. Most high. Most high. Ah. Most high. Most high. Most high. Hear me. Can you tell me what the next phase of your destiny is in ministry? If your answer is no, then be ready to pray the prayer we're about to pray now. It is a risk to walk not knowing God's prophetic blueprint for your future. That would be a blind man and that would be a risk in life and destiny. You cannot wait for situations and circumstances 
to define your movement and it is a risk to guess blindly just based on instincts you need the gift of sight to know with certainty what God wants you to do to know with certainty what the ministry should do to know with certainty the next phase of your business hallelujah hear me hear me hear me by the power of the seen eye the Lord himself spoke to it was Philip now and told him join this chariot and when he joined that chariot it was the utopian eunuch and that simple obedience brought him salvation because the man was reading and he said please tell me of whom is this is this about himself or another and they began a discussion ladies and gentlemen can I tell you if you do not have the eyes that see your helpers will pass you you will call enemies friends you will call friends enemies if you do not have the eyes that see you will call demonic doors open doors and you will enter them to your destruction if you do not have the eyes that see you can be watching things that will destroy you and enter into it headlong for there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death hear me i can tell you with all humility narrow escapes that have happened in my life and destiny in ministry simply because of the gift of sight meetings i always i almost went that i should not have gone and thank god i did not go associations i almost would have been part of but by the gift of sight many of you right now are in regrets respectfully speaking relationships that were going to destroy you you did not see you call the man an angel until you found out he was a devil you call the woman a queen or a princess until you found out it was something that would destroy you and unfortunately i hate to be a bearer of bad news some of you went further and now you have been trapped in painful experiences that only the mercy of god will help you through hallelujah there are people today who made costly mistakes there are certain courses they should have studied in the university but because they did not have the eyes to see their destiny they veered off and invested time and energy only to find out they may never never need it it did not help them in any way and some of you right now God has given you the gift of children but you do not have the eyes to see their future when Jacob was about to die he called his sons he said come let me tell you your future one by one they started filing up and he would describe them and bless them describe them and bless them describe them and bless them hallelujah can I tell you as a leader when you have the gift of sight you will know who to put in what unit and who to put in what department I was doing a, a, a teaching in Enugu I think it was a week or two about two weeks ago and I was saying leadership is the ability to combine imperfect people to produce a system that works you will never find people perfect people in your life because you are not yourself and yet you will have to make do with those fragile resources both human and monetary but the ability to know by the power of sight that putting this guy in finance department is a risk no matter how the person he has a perpetual weakness with money yet he's a creative person there are people who are very diligent but they have tendencies of disloyalty there are those who are not creative but they are loyal and all this will be sent to you by God it is your ability to see many people have allowed sentiments to make them put the wrong people you put a man who does not have compassion for the sheep as a lead pastor and then the person does not have the time whether they cry he does not care it's not like he's a bad person he's just not a pastor unfortunately the gift of sight and can I tell you when you have the gift of sight 
you can look at somebody who is stubborn and supposedly wicked today and you will see the greatest gift in your life and when people say can I, how come this gentleman or how come this lady this person should be out of your school or this person should be out of your house and you look at them in the midst of their imperfections because you have seen what their tomorrow looks like you will endure until you build them and they become leaders who do not have the power of sight will throw away some of the greatest gifts in their life Some of the most anointed men and women in this ministry by the grace of God, if you had seen them when they came, they did not look like it. But the ability to see. The cleaner who is cleaning your house now, you will be surprised that that is the person who can die for you even more than your children. The person may not be able to speak. Yes, he has tendencies and he's stealing 10 naira, 20 naira here. But it's just a mindset that was manipulated by spirits. The person still has the purity of heart. Can you look beyond people's actions? The seen eye will help you to forgive. The seen eye will help you to know how to tolerate people. It gives you the staying power to give people a chance to rise. But the seen eye will also caution you. And tell you this person will remain the same even after 20 years beware now before you cry tomorrow the seeing eye some of you God warned you about many people years ago but sentiments you were wrapped up with sentiments until they now became a plague to your organization a plague to your life can I tell you one of the greatest gifts in my life is the eyes that see the one you see is not the only one I have you can watch people and as you see people you are seeing things beyond what the eyes you can you can be given access to people's tendencies access to people's weaknesses access to people's limitations not to laugh at and condemn them but to be able to know where to take them and where not to take them how to guide them and how not to guide them for me, I will not do what Elisha did. I will not cause leprosy on the person. But I will say, Gehazi, be careful. This is a revelation that you are not ready to receive the mantle. What do we do about this now? Perhaps he would have been called Prophet Gehazi. There are many people today who left destiny helpers they should not have left. Like Lot and made certain mistakes. And if not for the intervention of Abraham, Lot would have died in Sodom and Gomorrah. I know that that uncle may be harsh. That auntie may be harsh. It looks like they always show tribalism and sentiments. But if you have the seen eye, God will say remain in that house. As, as harsh as that treatment is, that is the greatest university that can make a leader out of you running around and looking for comfort to produce a weak person. And in the midst of that pain, it is true that they may accuse you and insult you and call you names and you want to leave and God says stay there. If you have the eyes that see, one day that harsh man and his harsh wife will call you and say I don't like you oh, but God gave us an instruction. He said we should build you a house and empower you to go. And when you tell people it was Pharaoh that gave you gold, they will not believe it. If you were in Egypt, and they ask you where will you get gold from you probably will say Canaan sometimes gold will still come from the Egypt that persecuted you the very place of your pain is where your treasure will come from but do you have the grace to stay until you receive it or will you hurry out of Egypt and leave empty-handed if they had left Egypt two weeks before the time appointed they would not go with the gold that they will use to build the tabernacle Hallelujah. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? There are people today who left Nigeria and as soon as they arrived where they arrived, they knew that their decision was a superior decision because everything showed that their destinies were not here. There were others who were blindly copying and they just got up. As soon as they left Nigeria, their destiny helpers got to where they had been walking and they got there where the people were and they were nowhere to be found. And some of them, with all due respect, are living like fugitives in a strange land. 
we are going to take five minutes and I'm going to leave you with your maker. You're going to cry. Lord, deliver me from blindness. Open up my eyes and give me the gift of sight. Go ahead and pray. Open up my eyes. Give me the gift of sight. The ability to see. The seeing eye. The eye that sees the future. The eye that redeems the future. Dominion over time. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. I, 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 glory be to God. 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 I, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, say glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Ay, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hear me, hear me, in the name of Jesus. Father, what chariot should I be joining in this season? What partnerships do I need in this season? to break out of and to become part of who is an ally indeed in this season it will not come by physical appearance you will need the ability to see what should I be studying and meditating upon right now what business will produce the next wealthy people in the next five years don't assume the seen eye is the solution Take a minute and pray. You are praying. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you to one more prayer and after that there is a rain that is going to fall and wash off every mud that has covered your eyes there is a river that will flow as the one that came from Siloam and will be washing the eyes of people that they may see indeed now hear me the Bible says call unto me we are not done no I'm about to show you a key. I just want us to pray for a minute. Then I'll show you a key and then we'll do the impartation. Call unto me and I will answer. 
He didn't say, I will tell you. I will show you great and mighty things concerning your destiny, concerning your business, concerning your family, concerning your children. Lord, you gave me four children. Who is the prophet among them? Who is the entrepreneur among them? Who is the leader among them? Let me not, let me not exchange their destinies like Esau and Jacob. Call on to me and I will answer. I'd like you to pray in one minute and cry. Say, Father, show me. Show me great and mighty things. Show me the things I need to be positioned over in this season. Show me things that I need to come into alignment with in this season. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I tell you, I sense a very strong impartation that is about to happen. But I have to give you these three keys. Activating the gift of sight. What does it take to activate this blessing? Ah. Nizambika. Nizambika. Kainegaskia. Nizambika. Listen, there are three keys I want to hand to you now. I want to show you how to activate the seeing eye. Number one, praying in the spirit. Write it down. There is nobody who invests quality, consistent time praying in the spirit who will not receive this gift of the seeing eye. Whether you misuse it or not, is another thing but as far as seeing is concerned it is a grace that goes with praying show me a man that has committed himself to the ministry of prayer I show you a seer indeed praying in the spirit and when you begin to pray the spirit of God starts to search the mind of the father and downloads for you the things that eyes have not seen, the things that ears have not heard, the things that have not come into the heart of any man. Invest time praying and see what happens to your dreams and visions. Invest time praying and see what happens to your creativity and intelligence and your imagination. Invest time praying and see what happens to you as far as the capacity to draw insight from the word. Invest time praying and you will show me, I will show you the prophetic activations 
that happened in your life. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? A worship minister who only sings and does not pray, when they sing, you will know the difference. You will know that this person is just singing. I don't care how nice the voice is. You will know this person is just ad leaping and just singing. There is a stability that your prayer life gives every other thing you do. A businessman who prays, the difference will be clear. A career person who prays, the difference will be clear. A man of God who studies scripture and prays, the difference will be clear. A worshiper who prays when he sings, the difference will be clear. There are many people who raise songs and you almost feel irritated. You're like, please just finish and go. Because there is no presence. There is a sound that your prayer life gives everything that you do. You cannot fake a genuine prayer life. It's not by the huskiness of your voice. Uh -uh. There is a presence. There is a stamina. There is a confidence, a stability that comes from within your spirit. For someone, God is fanning your prayer altar. Ah, you need it. You need it. You need it. It is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Yes, sir. You want to do end time ministry? Five minutes prayer? Ten minutes prayer? Save Johnny. You will reverse by yourself in shame. You want to see, you must learn to pray. Generate energy as you pray in the spirit. Yes, sir. Male and female, educated or otherwise, when it has to do with the gift of sight, ladies and gentlemen, it is connected to a rich, consistent discipline of the prayer ministry. There are many people it's in the place of prayer that certain melodies will come in the spirit. You will start hearing sounds. You will write them. It's in the place of prayer that certain sermons that were not even rehearsed, scriptures will come to you. It is in the place of prayer that the 10 year plan of your destiny will be downloaded. Sometimes you will pray till you fall asleep. That sleep was not slumber. It was Adam's kind of sleep because something needs to come out of you. Ladies and gentlemen, laziness in the area of prayer is a cancer that would destroy many Christians. You must obtain grace by the Spirit to be a man and a woman of consistent prayer. I'm talking of moments where you invest quality time. You are not asking, not tea, not bread. You are just traveling. It's a cruise in the spirit. And the flesh may be weak, but you are still gaining ascendance. You will hit an escape velocity in the spirit. And the heavens are open and you will start receiving things. Something happens to your mind. Something happens to your understanding of scripture. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Listen. If you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, while I'm praying, you receive that impartation. But you see, one of the reasons why we designed our prayer department is an opportunity. There are people who have been trained, mighty anointed men and women, who will administer the baptism. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is not for Pentecostals. It is not for charismatics. It is one of the manifestations of the hidden wisdom of God. He said, but we speak this wisdom among them that are mature. Not the wisdom of this world that comes to naught. Nor of the princes of this world. He calls it the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for our glory. He said, you shall receive power. Acts 1.8. In Acts chapter 2, they receive tongues. There is a relationship between that which you utter in the spirit and the opening of your eyes and the gift of sight. Is someone learning? The generation that knows how to pray with understanding 
will be a seen generation indeed. Tremendous insight in ministry. Tremendous creativity by the Spirit. Number two, very quickly. Activating the gift of sight. What is the second key? Meditation. Meditation. Rich moments where you meditate upon the word of God and then meditate upon scripture based resources. You can meditate upon the word of God but you can meditate upon scripture based resources like sermons, like materials that are word compliant. It will prime your creativity. You can be reading a leadership book and see one line. Leadership is about transforming followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change. You will stop there. The psalmist will often say, Sila, pause and think about it. Most people do not understand meditation. Meditation is not witchcraft. I'm not talking about this devilish thing that people do. To meditate means to think and to ponder using the power of imagination. What is God saying? There are times that I sit quietly with worship playing and I'm saying, Holy Spirit, breathe upon my mind. What are you saying now? And sometimes it will take a while before his voice comes. In that silence, here it comes. This is what koinonia must do for the next season. This is the series I want you to step into. These are the anointings I'm releasing in this season. When we look like we are mighty, it is simply because of the advantage of the power of sight. The grace to see ahead of time. Meditation. You open your scripture, you read, and you begin to meditate. Let worship play. Sanas Kabbalada. Lord, what is the next thing about my life? And sometimes you need to be still, then you will know that He is God. There is a kind of knowledge that follows stillness. Be still, and then you will know. Miracle service is next week, Sunday. Part of the ways that I prepare for the miracle service is not just to pray. Sometimes I'm lying down and a dense atmosphere of worship and I'm quiet. Your majesty, speak. What do you want to do in the lives of your people? What is your emphasis for the people? Don't ever assume with God it will cost you. Always stay and say, Lord, what are you saying? Speak for your servant heareth. And sometimes he will open your eyes and give you insight into what he's doing. That there will be people who will come for that miracle service who have been tied down by spirits. And you will see it. And you will say when you get there, don't just do what you want to do. Become a voice of deliverance. Hallelujah. You believe in this? Sometimes it's in the place of meditation. I told you, that's how the song Breathe came. That's how this song, in fact, this song, I think, I hope I'm right on that. I think it came in the place of worship. Just worshiping and then these chants come in the spirit. By the spirit of the living God and your life becomes a sign and a wonder. First to you and then everyone around you. Ladies and gentlemen, practice meditation. Sometimes as a businessman, shut everything around you and sit down. There has to be a way out. Spirit of the living God, what is the next five years going to look like? What is the next 10 years in this industry going to look like? Ah, then the one who gives you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, he comes to you in that stillness. <sighs> he breathes upon you. And reveals to you the next 10 years. Reveals to you the next 20 years. There were many things that we had the opportunity to do as a ministry. 
but every time I went to the Lord he would just be silent over it or he will say it's not yet time and I said that's it this is your ministry this is your vision no matter how uncommon and unusual it is if you say it is not time it is not time someone called me one time and said apostle do you have an idea of people who have been writing books in your names books that have almost sold five star ratings across several platforms I said that is wrong so why don't you just quickly write and I go to him your majesty no it is not your time the foolishness of seeing will make you a champion mysteriously so you will do things that are unusual but with them will come power and transgenerational impact hallelujah praise the name of the Lord this is how God has helped us as a ministry this is how God has helped many who have learned sensitivity please write it meditation meditation you can get sometimes word-based confessions sometimes you can get scriptures on tape designated scriptures are, are along certain areas and just allow them play sometimes it's worship like the strings playing like this and you're just soaking in that glory when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. Sing it one time. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Listen. My dear people, let me teach you a secret. Every time you are granted the opportunity to go and minister, don't just stand up and write songs blindly and go and stand and start singing. It's in that secret place. The Spirit of God can arrange songs, songs that you have forgotten. This song connects to this. This one connects to this. When you now have the opportunity to minister, you will come up with a, an arrangement that will so impact the spirit of the listeners how did you join this song with this one it came in the place of meditation in the stillness when you stay with the spirit destinies are altered you will hear sounds in the spirit God will tell you this plus this is what equals this as a businessman once you stay meditating here he comes this is the next phase of what the world is doing go ahead of them by doing this one and doing that one when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when the glory comes The third and final way you activate the gift of sight is through impartation and that's what you are about to receive yes sir it is a grace that can be imparted Ephesians 3 9 when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. I want you to please read aloud the first six words that you see. Count them in your mind before you read. The first six words. Are you ready? One to read, please. And to make all men see. One more time. One more time. 
there is a grace that can make not some men all men see all men can see depending on the grace that rests on them all men may not see visions but all men can have dreams many can have visions all men can have access to supernatural insight of scripture all men can have insight to creativity and intelligence at an extraordinary scale and all men can have access to prophetic activations the word of knowledge seen in the spirit extraordinary supernatural experiences this is the heritage of the saints and within the next two to five minutes as instructed by the spirit of god i want to impart this grace i told you there is a gift that god wants to give someone To make all men see. To make all men see their future. To make all men see what God is saying. To make all men see his program. To make all men see where their wealth is. Just because everybody is running there. You may run there and your wealth is not there. To make all men see what business to do to make all men see what dimension of ministry you have been called into to make all men see where your helpers are Esther to make all men see where Ahasuerus is Naomi to make all men see where Boaz is To see where your victory is I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart I'm not wasting your time your life will change remarkably believe me remarkably can I tell you the gift of sight will also let you see where the problem is it can show you where the problem is this backwardness in this family, where is it? What is the root of this tragedy that has tied down men, tied down women, tied down great people? It is not only to see the future, you can see the origin of tragedies and to correct them. Who seen that this man was born blind? Himself or his father? And Jesus said, neither. and those who are following online you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous miraculous and marvelous the gift of sight the seeing eyes he said blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hi, 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 glory be to God, hi, 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 glory be to God. 
in the name of Jesus upon someone's eye the grace to see receive that grace now receive the gift of sight now hear me let me start with those called into the prophetic in the name of Jesus a heavy grace from heaven let it rest upon you now take that grace now anyone here under the sound of my voice called to operate in the prophetic office I activate that grace to see now and declare the grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your wealth, begin to see them now what's that song another measure sing it for me another measure another measure upon your life upon your ministry receive it in the name of Jesus I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus what you have never seen in scripture I open your eyes to begin to see it I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge 
the word of wisdom, the gift of prophecy. I decree and declare, anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you, I stretch my hands, receive a fresh impartation now. A fresh impartation now. A fresh impartation now. Adonai. 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 Every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made, some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now. Some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the mercy of God. Come out of that situation now. Come out of that situation now. A miracle service is next week. But please allow me to speak over your finances. There is something your eyes need to see. I want to pray for you. Can I tell you this? Listen. Your wealth is not everywhere. Don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because he's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy wherever your financial resources will come from i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area in the name of jesus christ everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of jesus i'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again may nothing take you unawares that before it happens by the power of sight, may you see it. So that if you have to stop it, you stop it from happening. And if you have to allow it, then you allow it happen. Hear me? By the gift of sight, you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you. Let me repeat it again. You will never enter any vehicle that will kill you. Let me give you a disclaimer. Many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions. Listen, never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word. I need to give you this disclaimer. No matter how accurate what you have seen is, when you get up, do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible seek godly counsel i'm saying this to you because there are many people an impartation like this is very risky 
because when your eyes are open you will see all kinds of things and Satan can appear as an angel of light are we together yeah the devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see and you may see things or God can give you correct visions and here comes Satan with wrong interpretations of it and you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision and it will end up misleading you and misleading others no matter what I see I have to confirm it with scripture and where it is beyond my spiritual level to interpret I will consult with those who have gone ahead of me and open up my heart and say I've seen something like this sir what do you see what can you say about it and sometimes they will say don't worry give me a few days let me pray about it ah this is what you saw this is what you saw never be too big to be guided no matter how accurate you are we see in part I forgot to tell you that that even after you have received the grace to see you will see in part that means the word of God that is wholesome and complete and entire must vet your visions must vet your dreams must vet your creativity must vet your prophetic experiences that way go and listen to my message the value of encounters there is the prophetic dimension of the word that immunes you and stops you from getting into error many people prayed their way to visions but because they did not honor scripture they started seeing things that misled them some of you have seen people like that they start acting as if they're having a mental condition it was prayer that took them there and they did not have respect for scripture they now that you see them misbehaving they start talking to themselves they will not take their bath for days they will start looking as if they are mad people eventually they will get them on admission in the hospital I have to tell you as a responsible man of God that when you are open to the vistas of the spirit it is a very vast realm what gives you stability is your respect for scripture otherwise your eyes will see a lot of things the devil will manipulate you to sleep and see someone carrying the form of your mother lifting a knife and you will get up and say ah so my mother is the person behind this and Satan has succeeded in cheating you he took advantage of the opening of your eyes as an, an, an innocent woman who loved you and nurtured you you will begin to hate her this is the number one problem with the prophetic ministry their inability to save their experiences and vet it from the lens of scripture there are many people today who are called witches and wizards there are many sincere family members that have come at loggerheads because some apostle or some prophet said this one is this I believe that there is witchcraft but there are many people an innocent husband and a wife and suddenly they make the wife hate her husband I see that this guy wants to destroy you interpreting visions has a protocol there's no time for that now but you need to learn to see your visions there are many things you will see that are not necessary you dump them and focus on that which is consistent everything you see does not have to be interpreted when you are mining gold you will fetch sand a lot of other things will come push them away you are looking for gold hallelujah I'm saying this so that you don't create another kind of error and for someone who is watching I have to bring this balance as we wrap up everything you see no matter how sure you think you see or saw make sure that you open up in scripture and if it is a revelation that would demand you taking destiny steps seek godly counsel by the privilege of God's grace we are here to help don't stand up and suddenly say you know what I had a vision and in that vision the Lord said I should leave my job as a breadwinner of 10 the one who takes care of 10 people before you take that step seek godly counsel there are people that God has washed their eyes with eyes self they can see and say this is not what it means be careful do not take a wrong step and destroy your spouse 
and destroy your husband and destroy your children and destroy your parents. I'm saying this as we close because there have been people, I can tell you through the years, I've been involved with people who because of the, the depth of their prayer life, meditation, word study, their eyes became open. Some of those people will get up in the night and start trekking no shoes to the river and tell them a spirit, someone appeared. I know one gentleman, he's now late, long dead. The guy used to go through story by 4, 8, 4 p.m. He would enter one building they used to use as an auditorium. He would sit down there because he said there was an angel, some feminine angel that used to come to him that they would sing together. She takes him out in the spirit and takes him to various places around Nigeria. This guy started isolating himself from people. He started behaving like somebody who was having a medical condition. I mean what I'm saying. He got into depression because it was like nobody else was his friend. He claimed they used to sing together with that being. I remember interviewing the guy and I said, describe for me the being. Once he started doing that, I said, you are, you are meeting with a familiar spirit. Oh, but she tells me good things. Behave yourself, respect parents. I said, you don't know Satan. That gentleman today has passed on to glory. Years ago, it is true. So I'm saying this so that believers don't blindly go and start writing everything and executing them verbatim. What was written was written so that it will not be changed. Your visions can be altered. I taught you here that it is written is greater than I saw. It is written is greater than I heard. If you can respect the word of God, then your seeing becomes profitable. It is not everything I've seen that is from God. It is not everything I've seen as a man of God that is worth executing. When I pass them through the lens of God's word, I find some of them wanting and I just hang them there until I grow higher to vet them again or until I dump them because I do not believe in them. You must have the maturity to respect the word of God and no matter how accurate your insights are, let them pass through the sieve of the word and then you have created a safety net for your excelling. Please rise up on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me make the altar call now and then I speak over our lives finally. Let me also remind you that next week is our miracle service for the month of October. Please make sure you invite everyone to come and partake of this wave of revival that God is birthing from this place across the nations. You are in this place and on hearing me speak, the Holy Ghost began to speak to you that you need to make your ways right. There's no need cajoling you. I believe that by now, you have, your eyes have been opened to see your state that you need Jesus. You need to rededicate your life to Jesus or you need to make a first time decision wherever you are. Let me give you two minutes of our time. Please leave your seat honorably and come and stand right before me. God bless you. Koinonia, celebrate them. Somebody is having the boldness to come before Jesus. God has opened their eyes to see that they need Jesus. This is not all of them. Let's celebrate them as they come. 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 Leave your seat and come. Come join them. Jesus is calling you to give you a new beginning, a new start, to help you, to lift you. When you come to Jesus, you have sinned correctly indeed. Because he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. The Bible says no man comes to the Father except through him. Those coming, please come quickly. All the overflows, make sure you move to your LED screens. And those following from across the globe, here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for making this noble decision. You're joining them, join them quickly. I want to lead you to pray this prayer. Everyone who is in Christ must have prayed this prayer in some way. And it's an honor to lead you to make this prayer. 
is the confession of your faith, your sin, and receiving the life of God. Please lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. Come. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive your life into my heart. I decree that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I'm a child of God. I just saw light coming on one of you. I just saw like power just come on you and to destroy every satanic thing. I will finish my prayer, but I rebuke that spirit now release them in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be set free now in the name of Jesus say after me I'm a child of God from today and forever I go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones in the name that is above all names I thank you because according to their profession of faith their sins are hereby forgiven and in Jesus name we call them bona fide recipients of your life the power to live a victorious Christian life we release upon you and we declare in the name of Jesus that you will serve the Lord all the days of your life you will go forward ever and backward never for in Jesus name we pray amen and amen please do well to follow our counselors they are by my right waving the placard that will be your left Please follow them and you have a word with them very quickly and then return to your seat. God bless you. Let's honor them as they go. Hallelujah. Now, just... Hello, beloved.